Martha, you're late again. Hurry up. This is for the 2 p.m. meeting. Don't be late. Um, I actually haven't seen my son since days, and I want to go home. Enough. We can't afford any more delays. Do you understand, Martha? Okay, Mr. Green. Great. SEO, Finance and Consulting. Martha O'Hare, how can I help you? Hey, sweetie. How are you doing? <laughs> Been a while since I saw you, and I was wondering if you might come over tonight. <laughs> oh, sweetheart. You know that Mr. Brown doesn't like when you call the office number. Mr. Brown can go... <laughs> Love himself. Oh. Your mobile is here. We miss you so much. Oh, I bought some liver and wine for a romantic candlelight dinner. Doesn't that sound better than office work? Oh, liver and wine. You know what I like. <laughs> yeah, wait. I am passing you over to our little beast. Oh. Talk to you later, love. <laughs> I'll see what I can do, okay? Mama, you have to promise, Mommy. Mommy. Okay. I promise. Say it's a promise. A big fat promise. Okay. This is a promise. A big fat promise. I have heard that. I love you, Mama. Cheers. Bye. I love you too.
<laughs> Sweet smell of fear. Calm down. Good boy. You're a really good boy. Oh my god, mister! Thanks god. Mister? Hi, my name is Mata O'Hare. I was on my way home. Mister? Did you hear the bricks? No, he's asleep still. <laughs> Caleb, my son, did you wet fine hatchet? Your tools are your sustenance. Without your tools, you cannot hunt, you cannot eat, you cannot create, and you cannot survive. Oh, father. But Caleb loves food. Then wet fine hatchet. Father, look. Well done, Caleb. Well done.
Father! Father is trying to flee, Father! A strong will to survive. Let our guest join us and share with us good wine and liver. What sayest thee? Bindeth her to the chair. Uh, okay. Thou sayest liver. May I partake some lure? Certainly. And bring me some wine, my son. What strange restaurant does he wear? Thou art not from here? Tell me, woman. Where come of you? Uh, I'm from Dark Lake, sir. Dark Lake? I know not of such a place. I... I think it's not far from here. I wasn't passed out for too long. I don't know how I came here, but, sir... I just want to go home. Can you please... let me go home? So I want to show liver. There's the liver of Mr. Jenkins, <laughs> the swineherd. He was known for his pork liver with onions. Friendly man. <laughs> mm. How impolite. Let me introduce myself. I'm Cain the Butcher, and this is Caleb Shaman, my young son. <laughs> Please excuse his behavior. His brain was seriously damaged 20 years ago during the big famine. 20 years? The big famine? What years now? Her head must be Seriously injured, poor little thing. Reminds me of snowflakes somehow.
snowflake was our little lamp. A wolf once came in the yard and had snowflakes neck in his jaws. I went out with the musket and shot the wolf, but it was too late. Snowflake was injured, blood was pouring out of his neck. He lay on the ground, his own blood twitching and yelling, as if yelling could save its life. It is the 13th day of October, 1866, and the day of oblation. Eighteen sixty-six. The day of oblation. Sure. What does that mean? Mister, I'm sure you are good guys. And you understand that I just want to go home. Can you please let me go home? <laughs> I sent you ten thousand dollars immediately. Do you have PayPal? You don't look like you have ten thousand dollars, man. And what is this PayPal? Anyway, we are no thieves. We don't need your money. But we could use some money, father, couldn't we? Shut up, Caleb. What do you think we are doing here? I have never stolen, never. Son, keep in mind, hunting in order to survive is something every animal does. The lion, the wolf, even the frog. But stealing is man-made. Man-made like money itself in order to enslave nature and subjugate all beings. We don't steal, son. Keep that always in mind. We hunt. We eat. We survive. Father, she's been rich. God, good God. I've got your soul in this. And if you dare to don't get out of my way, I swear I'm going to fucking kill you.
with those princess box, father. She's putting it to the box. Caleb, calm down, my son. I have no fear of your witchcraft. If my time is come, I will die as it is written. Caleb, son, if she doth tell the truth, why be she still here? Caleb Shaman, have no belief in this woman. She does lie. Take of her. the beautiful fruits you give. See her stretch marks. She fears the mother. Cry not, mother. Where be as your child? here and not with him. Oh, mother! I lost my wife and my other son to the hunger death. Her name was Karen. She was proud and her skin was white like milk. I thought to nourish them with my own flesh, but 20 years I saved him. <laughs> Their flesh gave us the strength to survive the famine. Remembrance of that, your body, (laughs) 
will be our present to the mother of mothers, the kindest and the cruelest mother nature. Mother Nature, Mother of all, take this woman's blood as our gift. Excuse our weakness and forgive our souls. We bow to your white power. souls. I shan't let you conquer me. The smart home thing was not bad, but you have to try a little bit harder to come home. Number one. 
man put trust in the strength of your mind your will and the power of your thought will bring you further <laughs> yeah i won i won <laughs> yeah <laughs> You mother. <laughs> oh, let me help you with that. <laughs> better, better. <laughs> Rule number two. Each level is over. When every enemy is dead, finito, morato, toad, totally gone. Got it? What? Killed that? I can sneak out. They're knocked out already. Why should I kill them? Why? 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 Do you think I make the rules? It is the way it is. The rules are the rules. Don't ask stupid questions. Okay. And rule number three. It's rule number three! Never, never, ever say my name. <laughs> so late already. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Good luck. Have fun. I'm out. <laughs> I hope you go to hell, motherfuckers.
Is that your ball? <laughs> you were a really good boy. You know what? My son would love you. From the fair. Pumpkin Janusz. is worse than any curse, right? Come over, Marta. Take a seat. Ma'am, please, I just want to go home. Choose the one. Ma'am, I just want to go to my son. <laughs> Go home to your son, Marta. Oh, you are serious, right? Sure, I am. I just killed two guys trying to win this game. And you? Please, ma'am. Please. Let me go home. Hmm. I am so sorry, Marta. I am just a token in this game. Same as you are, same as we are all. Not my game, not my rules, but if you let me, I help you a bit. Do you know where your son is? He's waiting in his bed at home. Oh, at home, Marta. You can't follow, right? Look, 
inside the ball. Okay, you know what? I'm leaving. Look inside the ball. No. No. This ain't true. What are you trying to suggest? To identify the truth in a place where there is no reality to prove is impossible. I don't know what you and the pink rat and the pink fucker in the suit are trying to tell me about my son's at home. I've just talked to him. He's waiting in his bed. Hell is a man place but future is in your hands if you want you can win I don't want to play games I'm leaving I don't want to play your games Where is the door? Where is the door? Put trust? in the power of your mind. yourself. 
you're in her arms, Dickens. Your fears, your anger, your guilt. Number two, put trust in the strength of your mind. What? And now, fuck you, asshole. No, why? You're supposed to be that. The deadly claws. Confetti. Let me go home. Rule number two. Each level is over when all your enemies are dead. Who's there? Pink Rabbit? You almost got me. Rule number three. Pink Jumpsuit, asshole. Rabbit. Huh. Rabbit, you should have paid more attention in biology class. There are unmistakable differences between cats and rabbits. Look at my wonderful paws and my lovely face. Nothing like this overbite big juice ugly carrot munches. <laughs> <laughs> A talking cat. <laughs> Introduce myself. 
I mistake it means the other player. <laughs> I'm supposed to kill a talking cat. <laughs> Who wrote that shit? <laughs> You motherfucker. Hey folks, I'm happy you appeared in such large numbers. I hope you enjoy the show. <laughs> What a sorrow in my head. A little rabbit said, I'm dead. A lot of blood on his dress, in my bed, and on the grass. Oh, what a mess. I can't believe. Stop the rabbit. He's a thief. He took my life just for his joy and gave it all. This little boy.
<laughs> it's me. <laughs> Martha, what are you doing with Mr. Sight? <laughs> Martha, you kicked Mr. Sight. You kicked Mr. Sight. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Hands up. Don't move or we shoot. Turn around and get on your knees. Mr. Fox? I dare you, boy. I double dare you. Hello, my name is Officer Fox. Miss... here.
You know why you're here? To be honest, fuck no. I have no idea. When I was on my way home, then I got stopped by that pink rap. The guy wearing a pink jumpsuit and a rabbit beanie. A pink jumpsuit and a rabbit beanie. Well, Do you mean this beanie? Yes, exactly. So you believe me? Did you get him? Did we get him? Well, miss. O H A R E. Wait, let me help you with this. Thank you, officer. I don't know what's going on here, but believe me, I had a very shitty night and I just want to go home to myself. How old is your son, Martha? He's four. I know all that sounds crazy. And maybe it's just a prank by this pink one suit guy. He somehow managed to put me into all these quests. Anyway, I'm sure you guys will figure out what happened. Can I go now? Take a seat, Martha. I'm not sure what you're up to, but don't even dare to play games. Officer. Let me go home. My son is waiting. Your son is dead, Martha, and you know that. No. You're wrong. I've just talked to him. Come on, officer. There must be a mistake. Martha, your son is dead. He got hit by this woman. She was hunting around for a mobile phone on the car floor while driving instead of looking at the road. Her name was Miss Brown. No. No, no, no. Mr. Brown is my boss. And my son is alive. I've just talked to him. Just before I met the pink rep. The guy wearing a pink rep beanie.
I know there are a lot of people named Brown in this world. It must be hard for you seeing this name every day. But nevertheless, your son is dead, Martha. You divorced, living in a one-flat room in Dark Lake, and that night after you killed four people. Four people and a black hat. Stop playing. Stop playing, Martha. I know you're trying to play the legally insane card, but it won't work with me. You killed four people, not to speak of the poor little cat. This little black kitty looked like Mr. Jenkins. Mr. Jenkins. Mr. Jenkins? Mr. Jenkins was the name of the swineherd. Caleb and Cain killed. Caleb and Cain? And a swineherd called Mr. Jenkins? Are you kidding me? Yes. They ate his liver. Do you mean these two guys? Yes. They are cannibals. Kayla and Kay. They pretended to live in 8066. They tried to eat me. I didn't want to kill them. It was not my fault. The rabbit guy made me do it. He said, It's the only way out. Cannibals. The rabbit. Come on. Cain was a hard-working farmer. Everybody in this area knew them. They were good guys. His son is, how do you say it? Mentally challenged. Yes, because of the great famine. What famine? That's why Cain had a wooden leg. He fed it to Caleb and his younger son and his wife, Cameron, to try to save them. But he couldn't. After they died, they ate them. What the? His wife and younger son died in a fire a couple of years ago. He lost his leg and Caleb had a rare genetic defect and they were all alternative vegan farmers. Look at them. Look what you did. No. It was the rabbit guy. The guy with the pink beanie. Oh, the pink beanie. This is Madame Motida. She's traveling around with the Boston Fair. Now, watch what happens to her. The pink rabbit guy pretty much looks like you, Martha. What do you think? Officer, I know that sounds weird, 
But something wrong is going on here. I've had a fight with two cannibals trying to eat me. I've confronted the fortune teller with telekinetic powers and a huge mutant brain under her head scarf. Owned by a black cat. Both trying to kill me. <sighs> and then there was this old dude under the pergola. Is he dead? The janitor of the 4th Street Elementary School, Mr. Zeit, he was such a good guy. Oh my god, officer. I... I thought he made my son disappear. This crazy one piece guy is playing an evil game. He puts up all these monsters against me. They're all on his side. Martha, you're a graduate of the Boston School of Law and a lawyer at a big legal firm. And if you believe your medical records, you're suffering from nothing than depression, and you're taking nothing but antidepressants. So, you're an average American citizen. Stop playing and confess. No, officer. I swear, I am not a killer. I see. This is going to be a long, Night. Tot. 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 I have to do everything by my own. Just what your attention craving more of the rocks are getting paid to do. Eating donuts and listening to subversive punk rock bands, dreaming of a radical new world, while your dad, to whom a questionable relationship forces you to join the enemy. You should either grow yourself a pair of balls and tell your beloved daddy that you hate this job and the police and join an un underground movement to play a revolution with a couple of reckless boys like yourself. Or you should grow off and do your job like a responsible man. Fuck. You wait. As if I have another chance. No, Pumpkin Janos. I know you're waiting. Waiting at home. Waiting in your little bed. Waiting for mommy to come to tuck you in. And give you a little kiss. Onto your forehead. So you can ease your pain. 
and all the worries in your head. Knowing that you were safe. Knowing that mommy is around, you are not alone. <laughs> I be around, my love. I will be there. <laughs> No. 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 I am not going to lose my mind. No. To O'Hare, I am not a masculine. I am married to my best friend, and my son is alive, waiting at home because I promised to be there on time. to lose my mind. Listen, Rabbit, I ain't going to lose my mind. Wow, well, Mother. You gave an amazing performance. I'm sure if this would be a movie, the critics would acknowledge this beautiful performance. Heart gripping. But you know what? This is no movie. And I'm not a goddamn national brown nose critic. I don't buy it. What? I 
behind you. Not insane. So you will confess. Confess? Confess what? Officer Fox? Or should I say quest number three? Stop. Acting. <laughs> what the fuck is he doing? Man, is this even legal? What will we tell internal affairs? Internal affairs. It's your first day, right? Welcome, little sheep. Let's get ready to rumble with the wolves. Oh, look. The sleepy hats from Booking forgot to note your broken nose. But my nose is so... What is? Behind you. Under the desk. Oh. oh. You think that is funny? Mm -hmm. Ouch! That was bad! <laughs> Look, you ruined this beautiful table. Police brutality. You know what? You should kill that pig. Remember rule number two. <laughs> rule number two. Each level is over when every enemy is dead. Finito. Toad. Totally gone. Got it. Kill him? With what should I kill him? With my bare hands? <laughs> Mr. Fox, is everything okay? I am trying to conduct a serious interrogation with a cold-blooded mass killer. 
How can you fucking dare to interrupt me? I I couldn't see the screen anymore, so I thought. I'm going to excuse this behavior because this is your first week and I like your father. He's indeed a fucking awesome golfer. But if you dare to enter this room again without permission, I swear I will fire your ass and you will never ever find a job as a cop again. Do you fucking understand? So get the fuck out and let me do my job. Your tits? Just because I can't stand cops. What does a butcher say to a pig? What? Nice to meet you. Meet you. Officer Todd, one thing he said was right. You should quit this job and start something useful with your life. I don't know what, but if I was in your age and had the chance to start something new, I would choose this underground revolution thing. That sounds pretty dope. Cheers.
I'm still waiting. I drive you. Come in. Good choice. Fasten the seatbelt, please. Be ready for takeoff. Hey, your key. A small present that you don't forget me. <laughs> it will bring you luck. <laughs> hope I hope you go to hell. Fuck you. It's your choice, Martha. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Have good luck. <laughs> I love you, Pumpkin. I love you. <laughs> you know what? I won't let you alone again. I promise. Yeah, I promise. Oh, you smell. <laughs> oh, you're right. I'll take a shower. Over there. You wait, okay? Don't fall asleep. Do you want to read? This year. Oh. Where did you get that? From Papa. Okay. Read. Read. The homecoming of the pink rabbit.
SEO Finance and Consulting. Mata O'Hare, how can I help you? Hey, sweetie, how are you doing? Been a while since I saw you, and I was wondering if you might come over tonight. Well, hey, um. It was just a dream. It was just a dream. I'm coming. Okay, wait. I'm coming home. I'm coming home. I'm coming home.